Um, all right, hello. Um, I want to talk a little about Copilot. Um, Copilot is a brand new project by Arthur, um, who's um, the guy behind Cockpit CMS. I don't know if you've heard about Cockpit. It's a, a small CMS written in PHP, which is a pure backend CMS. Um, it's really nice. You should go check that out as well. Um, Copilot, on the other hand, um, is more like a pure front end. CMS. So it will help you in uh, structuring your site's content, your site's like layouts, different snippets, menu structure, like short codes to include your um, JavaScript and CSS assets and so on and so on. Um, it's in the very early stages. So I think the first uh, public commit for this was like last weekend. Um, so there's not much um, public information to look at, like Arthur is still working on like the promo promotional website and documentation and so on, but you can already go check it out on GitHub at the current state. Um, this is a starter package, so, so it comes with some content to see how you can work with this. So basically you just check it out, I've done that already. Um, this is what it looks like when you open it for the first time, it's just some example content. A um, few pages, like a demo for a nested menu structure right here. You can see an about page, which is uh, actually rendered from a markdown file in the backend. Uh, a simple blog um, rendered from static markdown pages as well. Uh, but every markdown um, document has some meta information as well, like the author and the created date and so on. Um, and yeah, that's basically what it looks like in the browser. Oops. Um, let's have a look. Um, so this is the menus, the, 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 the directory structure that I just wanted to have a quick, quick look at. Um, basically all the CMS core code in this, in this system folder. So um, you have like a config folder, uh, like Layouts, which has the default uh, layout, um, as you can see, default layout um, will come from the theme. We'll have a look at that later. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but basically, that's not what we're going to look at now. We're just going to look at how you actually build a site. And for that, um, there's the site folder. And actually, the site folder looks kind of similar to the system folder, like there's another, again, like assets, config, layouts, uh, snippets, uh, and a bootstrap PHP, where you can, right now it doesn't do anything, but you can just add your custom, uh, your site's custom code in here. Um, you'll have a theme folder with a default layout. Um, this is just like a plain example setup. Uh, content is rendered here. Uh, this is how you render a menu. Um, so Arthur has this, basically this is a PHP um, templating that you can do here, but Arthur has created a few um, shorthand, like this is doing uh, basic uh, echoing of, of a variable um, with another bracket that would be escaped um, output and so on and so on. And a few, yeah, shorthands to actually include assets here, this will expand to uh, to the correct um, link tag to link to that CSS file, this to a script tag to the JavaScript file. And uh, the nice thing you can see here is uh, in when you are working with files and path, you actually have those shortcodes for uh, certain folders. So you don't have to insert the whole URL the whole time. It will automatically uh, resolve to the correct path. Um, so a theme column, for example, will point to site slash theme. And uh, so CSS, site CSS will be in here. Yeah, that's it. There it is. Um, yeah, that's um, basically you set up your whole site, your whole layouts, uh, something like snippets. Uh, okay, there's here there's no snippet defined in this example, but I think in the system, yeah, See, that's the, the menu snippet. Um, it's actually, oops, so basically this, this here renders the 
the menu renderer in here. And you can add your own snippets for, I don't know, what have you, like short, uh, yeah, like, like a Google map, for example, and you would create your own snippet in here or like stuff you use over and over again, like short things of content. Um, and the content of your site actually goes in the content folder. So let's have a look at that now. Uh, basically, you see here what we saw in the front end. There's uh, the index file, which will uh, is the first file that will be rendered um, when we just open the browser. Um, the about file, which will automatically be the page um, mounted to slash about. Um, and then the blog. The blog is a bit more complex, which is, has it, which is why it has its own folder. But it will still run, um, be mounted to sla the slash blog URL and then it will use the index file here to render the block. Um, let's have a look at that later. First the index file. It's just a basic HTML file um, here and it has some metadata on top. So um, right here there's only a title set for this page and it will the, um, it will then use that. Um, you can use whatever you set in the, your pages um, when you render that, for example, the title attribute in any page will, like in this example content, the theme uses it to, from the metadata of the current page, it gets the title attribute. And if it can't find the title attribute, it will use the site's default title. So um, we have a home. I don't know, home 23. Um, okay, right now the title is home. I refresh home 23. So I prove that this is working. Um, same with the about file, looks very similar. As you can see here, the extension will actually determine how this content is rendered. Um, right now there's, uh, I think, two renderers available, one for HTML, one for Markdown. Um, and again, same thing with the metadata. Yeah, um, the blog is actually the interesting thing, right? So um, the blog index, um, this is basically just one line of PHP. These shorthands here are uh, the same as typing uh, the default PHP open and closing. Um, but of course it gets a bit annoying to type all the time, so yeah, it's just a shorthand. Um, what this does is at the current page um, object, it sets um, an article attribute, and that article's at attribute is um, the following. Okay, I'll just highlight that. So from the current page at, um, object, so we are now on the blog page. It gets all sub pages from the articles folder. So you can see here, this is the articles folder. And then, so this is basically then a, a collection of articles. Um, it only selects those that are visible um, and it sorts them by the created attribute, which is in the metadata of each page. Um, descending in the descending order. So articles all articles which are visible actually visible means well a hidden um, article is anything that starts with an underscore so here's another meta file which won't be included in this collection because the visible only selects the other two. Um, it will take the meta field uh, created so in hello world it's uh, this value and in second article is this value and order that by the current, uh, yeah, by its value in a descending order. So that's it. Um, and then what you see here actually is that the blog can use a different layout. So then the other pages, for example, the index in the about page, we're always using the themes lay, um, uh, default layout. Um, so this will take from the theme, let's have a look at that. So we have, oops, Allah. Um, I think what is happening here is uh, this Arthur has created this override cascade, so it will 
if you point to a layout, it will first look in the system layouts. Um, it won't find a block layout there, so then it will look in the site layouts. In the site layouts, there's a block folder and there's the index file, so it will use this layout to render um, this page object. Okay, what does it do? This uh, block layout extends the theme's default layout. Um, it um, yeah gets the articles um, that we just set in the in the index um, and again like there's this shorthand to if there are no articles set it will use an empty list um, okay this um, um, HTML uh, if there are no articles existing it will point out um, it will um, output the message uh, but if there are it will iterate through the uh, articles and uh, yeah just render it um, the rendering works like this as well like depending on what kind of article we have um, it will it can render different layouts so this is just an example for yeah, how a simple block could look like um, let's have a look at a default article um, yeah, again, it's just a different layout and just a teaser, for example, would just render the, the, the same content but with a different markup. Yeah, so, okay, so we saw the teaser here, um, the teaser layout. Um, so what Arthur has included in the articles as well is, like, you can actually separate your content in different parts and access those, but it's really not... Um, it's a cool feature, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't go into that right now. So yeah, that's um, it's a quick look at Copilot. Um, I quite like it. Uh, I like the idea of you know it's basically a good good way to structure your site when you're starting off, and you know you don't have to re-implement the whole routing thing and uh, menu structures and so on. Oh, actually, menus. Um, just one last thing I want to show you. Um, we saw in the site theme layout file um, up here. Oops, no, up here. Up here in the navigation, um, there's a short end add menu. Uh, it will look for a menu snippet. Um, what is a menu snippet? Um, okay, oops. Um, actually, the system comes with its. Um, Default snippet for menus, snippets, menu. And this will just determine how um, a menu is rendered. But of course, we separate the rendering from the actual content. And the, no, the navigation actually should go. Oh, now I'm a bit lost. Yeah, let's Um, menu main, it will be called main.yaml and it's in the sites config. Okay, well that makes sense. So yeah, so the, the layout actually is just a YAML file. Um, I'll just add another, well this is getting ugly. Anyway, um, so just like a label and um, a route and even nested menu structures um, are possible with this default renderer, but of course you can create your own. I refresh and we see that now this is about me. And of course both are active now because it's, it's the same page. Um, anyway, that just for the menu. Um, and yeah, there's um, a lot more to find out just by looking at, at the code and the example content, but that's really what I wanted to show you today. Um, go on the uh, go check out the GitHub repository, um, the CocoPy organization slash Copilot. Um, yeah, check out the code, fork it, um, write some documentation, find some bugs, uh, and yeah, let's help Arthur build a, an awesome uh, CMS. <laughs>